Sean and I met up at the Milwaukee airport about 6 a.m. We went immediately out to the track, where he met up with some old friends who had volunteered to be his crew. Uh, I don't know, 25 of us total right now. Wes and Leah Orloff had brought the bike, which now needed to be prepped for tech inspection. A nice clear coat on the paint so the numbers can come and go. Amazing, you can walk out to the side and go around the corner with AMDs right there. Yeah. While the bike was in tech, I went over to Pitt Lane where the superbike teams were just getting ready for their warm-up. Milwaukee iron. Back at the pit, Sean was just starting to suss out the bike. The vibe was pretty casual as the new team started to take shape. I asked Sean what his first impressions of the bike were. Well, it feels like a, a dirt track bike with the with road racing tires. It's got the big wide bars, narrow tank their track tail section, so it's going to be, uh, be interesting out there. Hopefully, I think the key here is staying out of the wind. I'll try and help to work on my tuck as best I can to try to get it there dynamic and hidden behind this uh, the dash as much as I can, I guess. Then it was back to a second round of tech inspection. I decided to go check out the superbike practice, which was in full swing. It was great to see the 1125RR on the track. With the bike having passed tech, it was time to get it ready for practice. This would be Sean's first time on the bike. Sean looked great on the track and was clearly among the top riders. After a few laps, Sean pulled into the pits. I could tell he was still getting the feel of the bike and was trying to decide what changes to make to the setup. Transition is taking a little while to settle. Yeah. Okay. 
Adjustments made, it was back to the track for more testing. Sean's lap times were improving, but back at the pit, there still seemed to be a lot of issues to resolve. No grip. Just, well, I mean, if you look at the front versus the rear, the rear has got a lot more wear on it than the front. Yeah. And some of that's probably the weight distribution, but true. Yeah, it just doesn't feel like there's much weight, and I just can't get much. How does it feel on the brakes? Uh, straight up, it's, it's okay. I mean, right. It dives right. proper, and it, you know, it's transferring weight right. enough. Um, I can get on the brakes pretty hard. I think if we can get that. Uh, it's not using all the stroke. Um, I guess what I was wondering is, uh, did you work with pressure damping with the field? Any major changes you want to Well, I guess, just, uh, depending on how hot we can get the tire in the rear, we may go to lower, yes. lower pressure, yeah, definitely. Only, only to, uh, because it, it got, it, it gained a lot of pressure. Yeah, the temperature on the track is higher than we can get yeah. it to, so we have to compensate for that. Right, right. We, uh, we should measure the sag front and rear and see where we're at. I think we're a little bit stiff on the rear, and we don't have enough uh, free sag. So we got about three eighths of an inch. Oh uh, yeah, no kidding. So, so we need we need 12 millimeters probably. No, we're not too far off. Three eighths. The only thing to sit on it now and see what the rock sag is. Fourteen and a half. So we got. Uh, Seven eighths. Well, thirty-five would be an inch and uh, that'd be an inch and uh, a quarter. Yeah. Yeah, so, a pretty big change. Maybe we don't need to go that much. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot. I mean, I'll, I'll be dragging stuff in great if we do that. Right. But that I'm just uh, debating no fast no way around. Right? Yeah, like oh, I see. Yeah, whether the tall gear, or low gear, and then if we use the low gear. It has more drive acceleration, so do we set up with like soft or second weight transfer? Oh, so it's a lower speed corner is where you're working with that here. Yeah, I'm getting, issues anyway, I'm so. What, what corner are we going to send someone? After the At the fan walk, the fans get to walk through the pits, talk to their favorite riders, and see the machines. It was there that I found this. The Eric Buell Racing 1190 RS. Yeah, the hat, multiple hat wear. It's just ludicrous. It's just crazier than the first time around, isn't it? Oh, it is. <laughs> it is way crazier. You know, like John Fox, who's a finite element analysis engineer, and he has an MBA, and he's out in the back cutting out pieces of, of carbon fiber cloth to put in the tool that he milled on the milling machine to put in the autoclave that he designed that Kurt made. We didn't have autoclave, so we made it. And then we build a tool, and then he's got the stuff out to do it. And oh, he did the finite element analysis on it. You know? And then Tony Stefanelli's over there. That's what he's doing. We brought Danny Belansky on board, and he's awesome. And Danny's here to help the race. Okay. And I mean, there's crazy adversity every day. And nobody quits. And stuff comes in that's screwed up, and you go, yeah, we fix it. Never any. I'm going home. It's crazy. And I mean, it's every day. Awesome people. Hello, it's in there somewhere. Uh, Eric, I'm hoping.
hoping that's the only time you're going to be pushing that bike. Yeah, bro. <laughs> it weighs so little, it's crazy. This is crazy. Here, it takes a minute to the Finally, it was time for the start of Saturday's Superbike race. After a successful start, the spare bikes can be put away. After the day's racing, the XR1200's got a second round of practice. guys that were ahead of you were all... Yeah, they're all drafted. Can we get a stopwatch on the leaders and we can predict when they're coming around so I can hit them? Yeah. 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 38 in the front? Yeah. It's a couple high compared to the recommendation. 33 is what they recommended, right? Uh, 34, yeah. Yeah, we should lower it down. I can't believe, I mean, just those uh, those three riders that were off the pace significantly, like three or four seconds, I was like, for like a lap, I'm all strategizing, like how much room do I need to give them to get one straightaway, uh, one one pole down down the straight, and uh, and I had, I'm like counting the seconds, I'm like, okay, there's five seconds, no, I think anymore. I, I gapped them, gave them about a six or seven second uh, gap, yeah. and then I got one, one draft, Passed down the uh, <laughs> got down into five. Yeah, and that you weren't passing much. No, I, well, you kept actually, I, went, I, I pulled out and then I'm like, oh, I can't, I couldn't go by. Yeah. I'm like, so. Yeah, side by side. So I don't know whose bike that was, but they obviously had some steam. Whatever that, uh, I, I don't know the number, but. Yeah, Slick's bike was it was only marginally faster than mine, but that other guy's bike was faster than both of us by by probably three or four horsepower. So. Really? Yeah. I don't know what would we dyno that. 86.4, which is sounds good. Yeah, that's right where it should be. Yeah. Yeah, that guy must have had 89 or something. It, was, it doesn't matter how fast I go through the corners. If I don't have a tow, right, I'm not going anywhere. When I was following Eslick, Eslick, we were just to tooling around. I was going slower through the corners, even though our yeah, overall lap times were faster. And uh, that other guy, his motor was fast enough to stay with us, but otherwise he was really slow in the corner. Right. So the draft is worth about. Two and a half seconds, three seconds. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd say that based on the corner speed of right. that other guy. He was able to come right up on us, you know, and we were. At the end of the straights. Yeah, and we were much, much faster than the corner. Interesting tomorrow, huh? Yeah, it's going to be a huge pack. There's, yeah. Oh, they're all eight guys in the lap record. Maybe. Yeah. They said the top 10 all top top in their last year's track record. Yeah. I mean, you in, in second place is only a couple hundreds. I mean, it's. It's going to be totally about drafting tomorrow. Yeah. Is there anything else with the bike that you need to... No, it looks like the you're changes. a straight thing. Yeah. At the yeah. very end, how's the pressure feel?